So before we start today, I want to uh, just mention that there's going to be a series coming up about the tanks of the NJ Reef Club. Uh, it's going to be members tanks that are going to be reviewed on my channel. So you can find the link down below and find out more about that. And of course, Reef of Palooza is coming up. So get your tickets now and uh, get ready for the show. Um, this video is going to be mostly about not only the last frag swap that I went to, but also about preparation for Reef of Palooza. Now, this show was uh, a nice little show. It was in all one room and was packed with stuff. Uh, here's Kobe's Coral, and he gave me a, an interesting story about a one of my subscribers went to him and said, uh, saw him on my last video, went to his house, made a purchase, and became a customer. So um, thank you for doing that, and also thank you for supporting guys like Kobe uh, who were out there uh, providing us lovely corals. So now, as we look at the video playing in the background and uh, coming up is going to be um, the contest table. And there was a lot for a smaller show. This was, um, there was a lot of good prizes up, up for the offer. Um, from the last show when my son won me the MP10, I gave him the tickets and said, okay, you pick out what you want to get and enter it for me. And sure enough, this is what he won me. Uh, it's an RODI system, and I'm going to take that and try and beef up my own RODI uh, unit. So uh, he'll be entering my contest tickets from now on. Now, as Reef of Palooza gets closer to, um, to New York, um, there's some things I want to go over, some little hints, some tips on what to do when the day comes. So first of all, um, get your tickets early. You, know, you can buy them online. Decide whether you want to go both days or one day. I would recommend both days, but that's just me. Um, the day of the show, make sure you wear comfortable clothes and shoes because you're going to be spending a lot of time on your feet walking around. Arrive early. These crowds get long. You can tell by the videos how long these lines get. So get there early so you can get your gift bag and get in there real quick. And you don't have to be waiting in line all day. Now at the show, uh, there was a lot of YouTubers. Here's Diver Down Reef and Reef Spy, and uh, Billy Pipes was there, and we were just laughing and joking around all day. So getting back to Reef of Palooza, um, bring a lunch if you want, so this way you don't have to rely on uh, getting food while you're there. Also, bring a cooler and cups. Uh, if you can pick up the U-Line, you can pick them up on eBay. Just search U-Line, and you can get a very amount of size of cups, so this way... You can put the coral with some extra water in a cup of your own and it'll fit in your cooler the way you want it to be instead of relying on bags that can break. Um, another tip is enter the contest early. Okay. And um, this way you can get, go in, get your contest tickets, pick the ones you want, put as many as you want in, and then get on with your day and you don't have to worry about the contest at the end of the day. While you're walking around, look for the free samples of things that the vendors have, uh, which ties in with my next tip is hit every booth. Talk to the vendors. And a lot of people look at it and say, well, I already have one of those. Um, you know, I don't need it. But try and talk to the vendors. You know, you never know what their, um, what new innovations have come out and also what other, <laughs> maybe some free stuff they're giving away. So be sure to hit every booth. Uh, remember that there is presentations and talks, so remember the times and kind of make your own schedule around them if you want to attend them. Um, if possible, I would recommend, like I said in the beginning, to go to both days. Usually in the beginning of the show, all the real high-end stuff is there and you can get it for pretty good deals. But also the second day, you can get really, really good prices on uh, a lot of the corals that are there. This kid was amazing. He was helping out his dad and boxing up the corals, and I was really laughing about how he was doing it. And also, in the Delaware Reef Club, right next door, these are the vendors' tables, the ones where you see the um, handmade signs. The next booth, this gentleman um, was originally from Queens, and I'm originally from Staten Island, so he uh, mentioned that he had seen my videos and watches them, and we got to talking and kind of hashed over kind of like the New York thing going. Um, so again, the second day is when all the deals happen. Uh, 
coral gets marked down, people are looking to move stuff out the door so they don't have to pack it up and go go home. So go to both days and stay there until closing. You know, you, ne- you never know what you, you're going to pick up, especially from Reef and Palooza. It's the biggest show there is during the year, so that's uh, pretty much it. Um, keep an eye out for your favorite YouTuber. I know that New York is going to have a lot of YouTube um, members there, so keep your eye out for them. Go up and say hi. Tell them how much you appreciate what they do because a lot of work goes into this. So um, that's pretty much it about the uh, Reef of Palooza section. Here's uh, Tank Breakers. I actually bought uh, my son Scott a, (laughs) believe it or not, a butterfly fish from them. But it's not a copper band. But his his tank doesn't have a lot of coral right now. It's basically a fish only. So um, their tanks are... and. Speaking of tanks, that tank looks familiar. Hey, Billy, your tank has fish in it. That purple tank was really outrageous, too. Uh, so whenever you go to um, any show, no matter the size, uh, prepare for it as you would any you know show that you would go to. Make sure you got coolers. Make sure you have things to transport coral in. So this way you can enjoy the show the best you can. Because it doesn't really matter how big the show is. I mean, obviously, a show like Reef of Palooza, as opposed to a show like the Delaware Frag Swap, is going to be, you're going to be preparing it differently. But it's kind of the same thing. You're going to wear comfortable clothes and, you know, be prepared to enjoy yourself the whole day, talk to everybody that's there, and try and, you know, make out the best you can. With the local one day shows, the beginning of the show is the time when you're going to look around and You know, look for your prospects. Like, you know, you go to the Greg's Coral here and you look at what he has for sale and offer. Or you go to um, TSM Corals right here. And they're a local Jersey uh, vendor. And see what they have and what they're showing. And then later on in the day, you may be able to get a deal on that coral. Unless you want to pick it up then. Because if you wait, you risk it being sold, of course. So this booth, TSM had one of the most colorful coral displays that I saw at the Delaware for XWAP. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. I even put the yellow filter on this to catch every bit of color from this tank. These were unbelievable. And uh, in the next update, you're also going to see I picked up something from um, Kobe, and you'll see that in the next video. Uh, The other thing, TSM had this monster bubble, uh, bubble coral. It was immense. Was just really something to look at. It's about the size, a little bit bigger than a softball, this thing. The other thing I would say about going to frag shows, bring your family. There's my wife and my son and me, and enjoy the day all together. So until next time, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.